All right, welcome everyone. Um, hello, can I get a response? Uh, just unmute yourselves and say hello to make so I know that you can hear me. Hello, hello. hello. we're here. Hi. Okay, great. Well, welcome to the recognition ceremony for the class of 2021 from the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering at Drexel University. I'm Cameron Abrams, the department head, and joining me are my faculty colleagues, so I'll introduce as we move through the ceremony tonight. So um, I don't have much to say myself other than uh, just some Zoom uh, etiquette. Uh, you can opt for gallery mode when, when, the, when we read the names later in the ceremony. We're gonna have a couple of speakers. Uh, and so when speakers are speaking, it's probably a good idea to have uh, the speaker mode engaged. And um, in case you don't know already, you can stream this live on, on YouTube as well. So if you haven't already sent the QR code, take a quick picture, send it to your uh, friends and family. We are streaming live on YouTube at the moment. Okay. So I, I need to have a quick test. So when the timer reaches zero, uh, everyone's gonna cheer. Um, go Dragons, ready? Four, three, two, one. Hey. Congratulations, everyone. Congrats. Okay. So what I'd like to do now is introduce uh, our two student speakers. We have a speaker representing the PhD students and a speaker representing the undergraduates. First, I'd like to turn it over to Lavinia Tush, a PhD graduate this year, uh, advised by Professor Nicholas Alvarez. So Lavinia. I'm going to stop the share and you can uh, give us your address. When I was 12 years old. What I'm going to do now is, is it working? All right. Yes. When I was 12 years old, my middle school had a career fair featuring many industries. I went to talk to the aerospace professionals, and I was the only girl in the room. The panelists, two old males, asked me, do you want to be a flight attendant? Good thing my technology teacher, Mrs. Guillemet, intervened and said, this kid may be an engineer someday. Today, I am proud to prove that my teacher was right. I'm graduating with a PhD in chemical engineering. My name is Lavinia Turch. I grew up in a French, tiny French village. Although I didn't think it was my thing at first, I studied STEM. I graduated with a master's degree in chemistry and decided to work abroad. I went to Austria, where I met my boyfriend, who's from Hershey, PA. When he was 16, his summer's job was the Reese's peanut butter cu cup costume character. And even though I'm allergic to peanut butter, I moved to Philadelphia with him. Then I found Drexel and started my five years journey to my PhD. I faced some challenges. My new engineering major, the adjustments to the new culture, the demands of research, as well as being away from my family. But I found a supportive community here at Drexel, starting with Nicholas Alvarez Research Lab. We would have felt that 2020 would be an even bigger challenge. This has been a complicated year with a lot of uncertainty where seeing your friends and family became a virtual thing. Despite the, the obstacles like online classes where you hear cooking noises in the background or your computer just shuts down suddenly, that happened now, you push through. Look at you. Now you're an engineer, a chemical engineer. Congratulations for all of you to making it to the finish line. You followed your dreams. You didn't listen to the little voice in your head that said you won't make it. You may not remember all about thermodynamics. He transferred but you have something that's even better, problem solving skills. You have the potential to solve any problems that comes your way. What's your dream? What's the world you wanna live in? Do you have a big idea? Do you wanna start a high tech company? Go for it, don't hold back. You can count on the support of this community here at Drexel. And remember, you made it this far. I know you will go on to do great things. Thank you, Lavinia. <laughs> All right. So now I'd like to, uh, I'd like to introduce Ryan Barrett, a, a, a bachelor's degree recipient today. Ryan, uh, if you will please uh, give us your speech. Thank you. 
And uh, I want to start by saying what an honor it is to be speaking here today in front of my friends, colleagues, and professors. I'm deeply humbled by this nomination. Um, but before I give some unsolicited advice about life after college, I want to first reflect with everyone about our shared experiences as chemical engineering students over the last five years. The diploma is obviously the most important part of all this, but it'd be meaningless without the journey up until now. Do your best to recall some early memories at Drexel. Move in day if you lived in a freshman dorm, your first time in a lecture hall, your last meal swipe, that time you couldn't find your class in main building, that other time you couldn't find your class in main building, and of course, learning the value of reading textbooks. How about the classes we all had in common? Uh, I'm sure we have fond memories of our professors, like the first day of MEP1 when Dr. Fafarman taught us how to rob a bank, or in Thermo when Dr. Abrams on day one took attendance alphabetically from memory. Uh, how about when Dr. Karen Cross taught us ethics the hard way, or when Dr. Baxter had us download Aspen? I think we all had some fun outside of class too, though, while we were on campus. Late nights in the undergrad lounge fueled by free coffee, when Tom made Professor Spidell a travel-ready spaghetti dinner, and of course, all the times we blamed Tom for things he didn't do. Many of us saw athletic success too, on the squash, sand, and especially basketball courts, in the pool, on the soccer fields, and on the rift. I also want to recognize those that use their voices and their time to motivate positive change, that stood against hate and violence, and in doing so fulfilled their civic duties. You helped us survive not only the worst administration in US history, but also a pandemic and all the problems compounded by the two of them. And on behalf of our class, I also want to extend our deepest thanks and gratitude to the faculty for helping us to stay safe, uh, sorry, for their flexibility and adaptability throughout remote learning, and to everyone's network of support for helping us to stay sane during a very isolating period of time. Now, with all these memories to cherish or to wince at, I want to remind my fellow gra uh, graduates to stay present during this period of transition. I urge you to trust people when they say they're proud of you. If you're like me, and this all doesn't feel very real, uh, feel real yet, it's understandable to say, yeah, yeah, thank you when you're congratulated. But please try to lower your defenses and enjoy the compliments while they last. And that brings me to my final point, the future, a topic that is on most of our minds right now, now that our tenure at Trexel is ending. Some of us are staying local and others expect to move far away from here. Some of us have accepted jobs. Some of us are going on to complete PhDs, but many of us are still looking, whether by choice or by chance. As engineers, we have learned to make decisions based on all the relevant information, to make simplifying assumptions and restrict the number of possibilities until we arrive at a single discrete solution. But that approach tends to break down when the system is exceptionally broad, complex and transient as is with daily life. And so we're forced to live with uncertainty. At pivotal moments in our lives, this uncertainty can be scary, but I encourage you to think of what life would be like on the contrary, if there were only one right answer. Uncertainty means opportunity. Uncertainty means that every decision you make can be both right and wrong, just the same and uh, in different contexts or on different time scales. Without uncertainty, we'd be robots living our lives on autopilot, and nobody wants that. Uncertainty doesn't pay our rent though, does it? You can't eat it and it can't keep you warm, but it gives us freedom and freedom gives us purpose. All we can try to do is find a balance that works for us. Easier, than, easier said than done, of course, but that's true of anything worth doing. Which brings me to my uh, final message. Uh, inscribed on a plaque in the ACE boardroom is a beautiful message about our commitment to longevity one that applied when our problems, academic or otherwise, felt insurmountable and will continue to be true as we continue to challenge ourselves. Nobody said it would be easy. They said it would be worth it. Whatever it is to you, let's make it worth it. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan, for that wonderful speech. Our next speaker is uh, representing the staff in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering. I'd like to turn it over now to Andrea Falcone. Andrea, please give us your remarks. Thanks, Dr. Abrams. And um, thank you, Ryan, and thank you, Lavinia. And good evening, everyone. Um, on behalf- 
On behalf of the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering staff and the College of Engineering Undergraduate Advising Team, I just want to offer you, the class of 2021, our most sincere and heartfelt congratulations. Graduates, it's truly been a privilege to join you on this last leg of your Drexel journey. What you have accomplished during this tumultuous time is no small feat, and we couldn't be prouder of you. Your diligence and hard work have brought you to this moment, and these are qualities that will serve you well as you begin your next chapter. We wish you the best in the many directions that you are headed, and we know that you will continue to make us proud. Once again, congratulations, class of 2021. Thank you, Andrea. All right, right on. So uh, we are right on schedule, everyone. And now we're going to move into the part of the ceremony where we recognize each graduate individually by name. We begin with the PhD students. And my colleague, Professor Viva Kalra, graduate advisor in the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering, will be reading the names, dissertation titles, and advisors for our PhD graduates. And while you're getting ready, Professor Kalra, I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and get the, the slideshow started. So as soon as you see that first name, uh, you can go for it. And it will take me just a moment. I'm almost ready to do it. And so we're seeing my screen and now we're gonna see my slideshow, okay. She Professor Collar, take it away. She too, the dissertation title, Novel Bio-Based Thermosets with Superior Performance Characteristics, advised by Professor Giuseppe Pamise. Gian Gao, dissertation title, Highly Ductile Epoxy Systems Obtained by Network Topology Modification Using Partially Reacted Substructures, advised by Professor Giuseppe Pamise. Sophie Lee, dissertation title, Electrochemical Approaches to Interfacial Phenomena in Sodium and Lithium Ion Batteries, advised by Professor Maureen Tang. Rahul Pai, uh, dissertation title, Strategies for Enhancing Cycle Life of Lithium Sulfur Batteries via Polysulfide Interaction and Elimination. Advised by Professor Vipha Kalra. Ida Rafi, dissertation title, Polysulfide Immobilization Through CS Bond Formation for Long Cycle Life Lithium Sulfur Batteries. Advised by Professor Vipha Kalra. Lavinia Tush, dissertation title, The Glycine X Glycine Peptide Gels, Self Assembly Mechanism and Rheological Properties. Advised by Professor Nicholas Alvarez. Thank you, Professor Kalra, and please join me and my colleagues in congratulating all of our PhD graduates today. Woo! Congratulations, Congrats. class of 2021. <laughs> and now we move on to the part of the ceremony where we recognize each of our master's degree recipients by name individually. Also undertaking this duty is the department graduate advisor, Professor Vivat Kalra. Professor Kalra, you are Back on. Kura So Ong. Nicholas J. Banks. Yeah! Alexander Barrage. Yeah, yeah! Ramlin Kaur Chagar. Sarah Aguila Carson. What about Sarah? Dean Duong. Yay, Haley! Wait, Matt. Oh, wait, we're not getting. David Joseph Neese. Alexander Thomas Leeger. Let's go! One back. Uh, Shaban Montenegro. Woo! Glenn Patrick Neiman. 
Yes! 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 Ian B. O'Donnell. Shannon Eileen. Shannon Eileen Dwyer. Anjali Aruna Patel. Fu Tuan Fan. Let's go! Jason Francis Rodman. Yay! The best person ever. Rene M. Saraka. Amy Kimberly Tran. No! Jason Kyle Wilson. Jacob Winter. Like, yes, Jake! Thank you, Professor Kalra. I can they, please join me in congratulating all of our master's degree recipients tonight. Woo! Congratulations. Woo! Yeah, hey, there we go, guys. Wonderful. Uh, now we reach the part of tonight's ceremony where we individually recognize each bachelor's degree recipient by name. And because there's so many of you, I need two of my colleagues to help with this endeavor. We'll begin with Professor Jason Baxter. Professor Baxter, you may begin. Thank you, Professor Abrams. Uh, before I start, I would okay. like to just take one minute to congratulate our graduates of 2021. It's been a tough journey. You started as trailblazers in a new curriculum and finished in a pandemic. It's been a lot of hard work, but you did a great job. And we are really proud of you. Uh, so I had the pleasure of teaching most of you twice and some of you four times, and it was a great joy to do that. So best wishes to all of our graduates, and I will be glad to now read the first half of the names. Julian Evan Adams. Mohammed Samir Ahmed. Woo! Right, let's go! Zachary Ernest Arvanitas. Sudipti Atri. Dylan Ao. Thora So Ong. Joshua Jordan Baboff. Nicholas J. Banks. Let's go, yeah. Yeah. Woo! Alexander Barazic. Hey, hey Alex. Karam Baral. Ryan Francis Barrett. Woo! Hey, number Woo! one, Ryan. Ololade Kazim Bello. Dylan James Berryman. Oluma, Olua Damilola, David Ballerin. Roy Anthony, Leo Kaleha. Raleen K. Chagar. Alende Chivavka Changalola. Woo. Leah Eleanor Clark. Sarah Aguila Corson. Hey. Nicholas Earl Daniels. Woo! Hey, Nikki. Yes. Juan Fan Kai Dao. Victoria Elaine Delicio. SK Dipta. Ian Duong. Kaylee M. Eastip. <laughs> Lucas A. Etim. Hag Young Gim. Matthew Allen Harp. Connor S. Harris. 
Thomas, Joseph, hey, sir. Hey, way to go, Tom. Wokan, Wen, Ho. Zachary, Stephen, Hoffman. Go! Zachary, Ryan, Hop. Michael, Kanner. Daniel, DG, Kim. David, Joseph, Nice. Edgar, Kobe. Joseph, Francis, Korger. Pranav, Laxman. Yuyi, Liao. Anthony, John, Liddy. Alexander, Thomas, Ligier. Hey, there you go. Alexandria, P. Mock. Maxwell, Ryan, Martin. Marta, Martinez, Yus. That's Marta. Thank you, Professor Baxter. I'd like to now turn it over to my colleague, Professor Aaron Fafarman, who will continue and conclude our list of BS graduates. Professor Fafarman. Ready when you are. <clears throat> Kevin Joseph Mercedes. Joseph Evan Miller. Siobhan Montenegro. Caitlin Nicole Moran. Woo! Thomas Carol Mulry. Raina L. Newkirk. Tran Hong Nguyen. Woo! Glenn Patrick Neiman. That's the wizard right there. Woo! Charles Joseph O'Brien. Ian B. O'Donnell. Shannon Eileen O'Dwyer. Brianna M. Ogilvy. Oluwatimalori Omolewa Ogunranti. Sean Joseph Oliver. Donna Charmaine Oyela. <laughs> Nancy Pan. Woo! Hey, Joey! Anjali Aruna Patel. Madeline Junith Pelshat. Yay! Hey, there we go! Yay. Fu Tuan Fan. Woohoo! Woo! 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 <laughs> Jared A. Reichel. David Rendiero. <laughs> Mar Marissa Linda Richardson. Jason Francis Rodman. Woo! Let's Woo! go, Jason! Gabriel Aaron Sable. Tania Sinelli. Renee M. Sarka. Savannah R. Schmidt. Alex Richard Scottleman. <laughs> Abinisha Sivaraj. Emma Catherine Snelling. Yay! Daniel Henry Steinberg. Habza Zubir Saida. Tony Vu Trang. Tang, sorry. Amy Kimberly Trang. Vu Trang. 
Shannon H. Wilbraham. Jason Kyle Wilson. Jacob P. Winter. Zudi Yi. Jared Oliver Yext. Jacqueline Lauren Zakowski. Kai Zhang. Kun Zhang. Yay! Manuel Benuel Eshkol Zibarov. And I just like to say, performing. Yeah, and I just like to say, uh, it, it was lovely um, to be at the beginning for many of your journeys, and uh, to be here again at the end. Uh, you've all worked so hard; it's been an amazing thing to see from our perspective. Congratulations, class of twenty twenty one. Thank you, Professor Performin, and please join me and my colleagues in congratulating all of the BS graduates from the Department of Chemical and Biological Engineering, class of twenty twenty one. <laughs> That's what I was, I just prompted myself to do that. We can do it again. Congratulations, class of 2021. Keep it going. Woo! 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 So dark. Even though our speaker, uh, Ryan Barrett, already uh, gave us some acknowledgement, we can always use more. So please, as is tradition, please take a moment to honor the faculty and staff of the Chemical and Biological Engineering Department with a round of applause. Thank you. Let's go, go, guys. Go. Thank you so much. Thank you. As is also tradition, please take a moment to thank your families and loved ones for their support with a round of applause. I love you, Mama. Love you. And finally, we are uh, at the end, almost at the end of the ceremony. If, if anything, we chemical engineers definitely know how to do things efficiently. <laughs> Before I conclude the ceremony, I would also like to invoke one final tradition, and that is making a toast to this year's graduating class. Again, I'm a man of few words, as you know, from this year's send-off event, which I'm so happy we were able to have. And I'd like to continue the tradition of being a man of few words and just say, here's to the class of 2021. I wish you all the success in the world. Here, here. Here, here. Cheers. And we're done. Thank you. Here, here. I'm going to hang out as long as anyone else is here, but we are done. Thank you again. Thank you, Professor Abrams. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. We love you. Congratulations, everyone. You want to say congratulations? I think we're not muted. All right. Thank you, guys. Have a great night, everybody. Thanks, Thomas. Bye, Tom. Congratulations.